वेलकम बैक एस फाइनल फैंसी सेवन रीबर्ड जस्ट रिसीव द न्यू अपडेट दैट डायरेक्ट सपोर्ट फॉर टी एल एस एस मल्टी फ्रेम जनरेशन नो एफ एस आर फ्रेम जन सपोर्ट इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड सम बफ फिक्सेस इम्प्रूवमेंट्स टू ओवरऑल गेम स्टेबिलिटी आई एल बी शूइंग यू हाउ टू यूज द इन टेट वर्जन ऑफ एफ एस आर फॉर ऑफ स्केल एंड कंजंक्शन विद एक्स सी एस एस और एफ एस आर फ्रेम जन विल यूज ऑफ टी स्केल मॉड टू अचीव दिस विद द फॉर्मर एक्स सी एस एस लो लेटेंसी मोड विल वर्क एंड विद द लैटर एंटी लैक टू विल वर्क ऑल थैंक्स टू the official dlss multi frame gen support this is the games opti scaler wiki page okay we need to use opti patcher it's not recommended to use opti scaler's txjs boofing feature to unlock the in game dlss setting it can cause some stuttering we also need to set color resource barrier setting to 4 via opti scaler.inf file otherwise some artifacts will be present I'll be using the latest PV5 version 0.9202510031 build of OptiScaler. It's available on their Discord server. I'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Click on the dot seven z link here. You need to use the latest version of OptiPatcher. At the moment, it's only available on Discord. OptiPatcher and Disco FFF7 are FG dot ASI. Just search for it on OptiScaler's Discord. It will pop up. Click on the dot ASI link. Download will start. FSI SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the in-date version of FSI 4. These files could be used to compile an FSI 4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the Go File link here. From this page, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler DXTL.dll. Click on Download here. Download will start. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open the mod's archive file. Select the highlighted files. Optiscaler dot ini mod configuration file. Optiscaler dot tll mod loader file. Lib xcss underscore fg dot tll xcss frame gen file. Dx land version of xcss super resolution not required. Lib xcss dot tll xcss super resolution file for dx twelve and Vulkan APIs. Lib xcss dot tll xcss low latency mode file. Fake nv api dot ini fake nv api dot tll fake nv api will replace the end game. Reflex implementation with XSS low latency mode or Reflex. I beg your pardon, anti lag too. Depending on the frame generation technique that we are using. Not using Nukem 9 mod. Vulkan version of Fidelity FX file not required. Select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right click, copy. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage. Click on Browse Local Files. Open End folder. Binaries folder, Win64 folder, paste everything here. Now we need to change the name of OptiScaler.dll file to DXGI.dll. Select the file, right click, rename, type DXGI. Now I'll be disabling DXGI spoofing feature. Just open OptiScaler.ini file. Scroll down until you find spoofing section. And there it is. Under this section, look for a line name TXGI. You just need to set it to false. Scroll down again until you find plugin section. And there it is. Under this section, look for a line name load ASI plugins and set it to true. Opti patcher file is an ASI file. Scroll down again until you find hotfix section. And there it is. Under this section, look for a line name color resource barrier and set it to four. Click on File, Save, Close. Need to create a new folder in the Games Install directory where you install OptiScaler mod. Right click, New Folder. Name it as Plugins. In this folder, we need to paste OptiPatcher.asi file. Just copy OptiPatcher's ASI file which you downloaded from OptiScaler Discord server. Open the Games Install directory. Open End folder, Binaries folder, Win64 folder, Plugins folder. Paste the file here. Now I'll install FSR for OptiScaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX OptiScaler TX12.tll file that you downloaded from Reddit. Open the Games Install directory. Open End folder, Binaries folder, Win64 folder. Paste the file here. Replace the existing file. 
done adrenaline settings for the game pre-sync v-sync on i have set the uma buffer size to 6 gb my is running on bias version 3.4.2 install ls latest official gpu driver that i had support for battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile all three power values set at 27 watts cpu boost disable connected my fly dg video 4 pro controller to ally via bluetooth mode x input controller will use rtss and afterburner to show you the performance stats just open rtss click on setup here scroll down to the end make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject nvidia reflex latency marker settings are disabled enable use microsoft d2's api hooking setting launch the game in game settings display mode set to borderless full screen required for using xcfg this is the game running at 720p resolution frame rate 120 can't go higher than this display sync tech vrr in this game if you run it at 66% resolution scale value basically the quality preset of fsr4 leaves of the trees won't be rendered properly can't select the balance preset next available resolution 50% which is basically the performance preset of fsr4 with this preset leaves will be rendered properly but some ghosting will be present around our character model very difficult to observe this ghosting on ls small display rest of the settings set to low anti-lasing method just say to dlss dlss frame generation setting lock for the time being first i'll show you the base game performance once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. And there it is. I'll increase its size. Click on the top run bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.1. At the top of the menu, OP is mentioned. This means OptiPatcher is working. TXJ is spoofing. Yeah, it's off. Input in game DLSS upscaler. Upscaler selected XCSS version 2.0.2. I'll just change it to FSR 4. Click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select FSR 3.x as the option. Click on change upscaler again. Yeah, FSR 4 is selected. Model setting set to default automatically selected model 0 for me. Not the correct model. It's for the game running at native resolution. With anti-lazing. FSR anti-lazing and it cannot be changed from here and just stick to default value auto export setting is on frame generation disabled for the time being I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section enable FPS overlay enable setting scale 1.3 full plus graph base resolution 640 by 360 pixels upscale to 720p resolution save and I close yeah, there's Cloud and my teammates, AI control. Even with the performance preset of FSR 4, image quality is looking sharp. This is amazing. I'll highlight the ghost thing issue. See, just observe Cloud's head. You'll see a ghost trail against the trees. Bit difficult to observe this ghosting on LS small display unless the camera is very close to our character there's the ghosting around our weapon so yeah FSF warp scaling is not perfect in this game don't even think about using the quality preset of FSR 4 these leaves won't be rendered properly this is for the int 8 model of FSR 4 FP8 model does not Exhibit the graphical artifact Leaves of the trees not ended properly Ok, I'll engage in combat now You can run the game at 900 beats, completely up to you Ok, FPS stays within a range of 50 to 60 even during combat, that's really good to see Gran usage, it's below 5 GB Testing the launch version of the game, here VRAM usage was within a range of 5.5 to 6.5 GB Cleared the area I'll test the game in another area, Costa del Sol Area of it up I'll traverse the place on this two-wheeler <laughs> Why not? Yeah, FPS is within a range of 50 to 60 Lot of NPCs here and Good for testing the game VRAM usage is still below 5 GB, that's really good to see 
seems memory usage has been optimized with this new build of the game. I'll just change the resolution to 900p and I should be able to handle it. Yeah, VRAM usage is increasing. 5GB, 5.1. Nothing extreme. And I can handle it. And <laughs> it's trying the property. <laughs> Change the resolution to 900p. Back to the game. Yeah, check out the image quality now. Looking much sharper than before. But I'm observing a big drop in performance. FPS drop from 50 to 40 after changing the resolution from 720p to 900p animation quality it's looking a bit choppy upscale time increased to around 5 milliseconds and I can still handle it observing some texture pop in issue it's up to you which resolution you want to use now I'll show you how to enable FSR frame generation open OptiScaler menu Click on the drop down bar next to empty source and select TLSS GY Streamline as the option. The game supports TLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.8. So this option will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hard fix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option. Click on save I and I close and restart the game. Play. After restarting the game, just enable the in-game DLSS frame generation setting. Yeah, it got unlocked. Set it to two times. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. Check the setting active under FSR FG. This will enable FSR frame gen. Show you FSR frame gen's deeper view. Displays are working properly for all of the images. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games HUD elements won't flicker with FSR frame gen on. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR frame gen should work properly. Uncheck the debug view. I'll also enable anti lag tools latency monitor. Press the hotkey combo all shift and L. Here's the real time latency value. Okay, with anti lag to enable, I observed some micro stuttering. Anti lag to combined with FSR frame gen, see the spike spike occurs from time to time there's the stutter this micro stuttering does not occur when we disable FSR frame gen so better to just use XCSS frame gen in this game XCSS low latency mode will work with it stuttering again and just disable FSR frame gen now the game won't stutter but look at that animation quality, it's looking very choppy as frame gen is not working. Show you how to switch to XCSS frame gen. Open OptiScaler mod. Make sure DLSS GY Streamline is selected as the frame generation source. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Click on save and I close, restart the game. Play. Again make sure. DLSS frame generation setting is enabled from the in-game settings. Set it to two times. Once the game loads up, open OptiScaler menu. Check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. Frame time graph will become thick like this. Means XCSS frame gen is working. Enable XCSS frame gen deeper view. You will see these purple sidebars flickering. If these sidebars don't appear, this means XCSS frame gen is not working. Uncheck the deeper view. Check show detected UI setting. A game's UI will be highlighted pink in color. I'll also use XCSS Inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features. Uncheck Show Detect UI setting. Minimize the game. Run Inspector app. From this list, select Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Double click. XCSS frame generation context. It's running. XCRL context. Yeah, it's on. Can see the valid frames getting generated. All good here. Back to the game. I'll just spin the camera around. Yeah, now I'm not observing any micro stuttering. Smoothing effect of XCFG is working properly. Games had elements, they are not flickering. This is the real world input delay, nothing extreme. XCLL is doing a good job of keeping the latency in check. No significant artifacts produced. I'll just use the wheelie. I really like this vehicle. It's very good results produced by XCSS Frame in this game. 
FSR fringe and cause some micro stuttering. You can also use FSR for upscaler, just don't use its quality preset in this game. This is for the int 8 model of FSR 4. Oh my god. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.